So what's next for you, Carlina? Um, hopefully I'm in the motion of, you know, making a movie as well as I want to put out a book. I actually been writing since I was in seventh grade. Okay. Music as well. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to pursue the little modeling thing. You know, I have a lot of stuff lined up. I made a list, so. <laughs> Even for the, the upcoming children, that's the main, my main focus, for the upcoming, upcoming children. But I have a lot of things planned. Just got to get my team together. And when you say your, your team, I mean, because now that we've seen it happen with other people. Yeah. Um, you know, you're going from one life to the next and how you're being bombarded with offers and requests and, you know, people on Twitter saying, well, she turned down this show and she turned down that show. And, and all these people that are, are, are trying to, you know, maybe feed off of what they expect to be this windfall that you're about to have happen because it is a movie. Yes. I mean, it it is. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, if, and, and they talk about the fact that if the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children did not exist, mm this will be a totally different outcome mm -hmm. because there will be like somebody has to have the wherewithal to say, let's make a place mm -hmm. for people who are thinking something Z is exactly. going on. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually talked to them um, this week and I was like, you know what? I want to come down here just to meet the people that, you know, help me, wow. you know, get through this. I was like, I'll just speak to y'all on the phone. I don't even know what y'all look like. I could just walk right past y'all. Right. So, I'm in motion as making it my myself there as well, too, to just say thank you and everything. But if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have found out at all. I don't think so. Do you think it would have been something that if you hadn't found out when you got pregnant at, at 16, that it would have been something that Miss Petway would have taken to her grave? Mm. See, I can't think about that because some people would have been like, you know, I wait till she turned this age or I wasn't 18 yet. Some people feel like, you know, when you turn 18 or when you turn somewhat, they feel as if you're an adult. Right, able really to say. handle it. Yeah. So I really can't say. And at that time, she probably still thought I was, well, I was still young. Mm -hmm. And um, I really can't say. If you were to be able to. To talk to her, what what would you say? I mean, you haven't spoken since this whole thing broke. You haven't, you know, she's now facing 20 years in prison. It's not like, you know, she's a teenager. I, I just want to hear her side. Mm -hmm. As to why she did it? I just want to hear her side. Would it be somewhere where you guys would just be in a room somewhere, you think, and you just like... Okay, tell me what happened. Is that kind of how you would see it? How would you envision? This I mean, it doesn't thing? really matter how it is. I just want to know her side. Right. Like that's even from you know when I reunited from the video, I was just like you know I wanted her to get in the official's hands because I want to hear her side. I just want to hear her side. I want to hear her side because I feel it's always two sides of the story. Right. So I, I'm just hearing one side right now. What if that's in a courtroom? Because I know you don't want to go back to court. Yeah, but see, in court, it seems like, I mean, it doesn't really matter if it is in court, but in court, it seems like you can't get the detail. I want to know. I want to know the details. Mm -hmm. I want to know how how this was done. I want to know details. Do you think you will ever be able to forgive her, even when you get her side of the story? First off, I want to thank God because you're supposed to, you know, be able to forgive. So I do forgive her. I forgave her already. So, I mean, I actually forgave her from the moment I was, you know, even though I was pregnant, so it was like a, a year later. It was just like out of my head, I know what you've done, but it's like, Knowing that I know a little bit more to the story, I just want to know, like, what, what's the reason behind it and how did this get done? Like, just how did it get done? Was she there when you gave birth? Yes. So was she, she was in the hospital with you? She was in the room with me. The whole entire time? Yes. So what do you think that was like 
for have, her. And I thought about that as well. After. Knowing I know that she was now she's 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 faked the mother. Now you she's see. faking the grandmother part, mm-hmm. and she's there. Why? See, the thing about it is, my daughter never called her grandma. She made up her own name for her. Hmm. So it seemed like God worked in mysterious ways. Wow. So when she did meet her grandmother, it was like, now you could call her grandma. So what did she call her? Binks. <laughs> Binky. Binks. That was her name. She made it up herself. Hmm. So you think that was a, like a sign that she maybe have known that you said? No. My daughter made that name up. Right, right. right. Yeah. That you know how children are. Connected. Connected. Yeah. 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 So we, he was saying. Yeah. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're interested to hear uh, that side, too. And we're just very glad that you came on today um, because we know that you had um, turned down a lot of people. A lot of people in the news are now, you know, hitting me up. And we know your attorney, Donald Woodard, is here to, you know, <laughs> filter to all through all those things and um we just wish you the best and we we know that people are going to have their own opinion but we do i i, I personally think that you're very genuine in in mm-hmm. in your efforts and i applaud you uh, by saying that you know you wanted to be a mom first and putting your own what can some consider selfish needs mm-hmm. to the side to take care of your child first which is, is a, a great attribute you know, so we want to thank you for coming on. We also want to thank uh, Akini Jeffrey and ATL's talent for uh, helping us, you know, facilitate this interview. It was, uh, would not have happened without him, and uh, we appreciate him as well. And, uh, you know, uh, Rashawn, I'll let you close out, you know, and well, mommy to mommy. Well, <laughs> I just admire your strength, uh, and we just, uh, we just ask that God – will guide you yes. and give you the direction that you need. And sister, continue to stay prayerful because um, this story was supposed to be your story. Mm-hmm. So whatever God has for you will be for you. I just ask that you continue to ask him for guidance so that you can walk down the path in which he has set for you. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. And you are you are a beautiful young lady. Thanks. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And once again, uh, on behalf of the Ryan Cameron Show and the People Station B one hundred three, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. We appreciate I had it. fun, guys. Thank you. Yeah. You did a great job. And make sure you get some like you know some professional folks to tell you these thoughts, you know, and, and being able to process it all because yeah. I know a lot of times we depend so much on uh, on faith yeah. for a lot of things, but yes. you know. God gives people degrees, too, yes. <laughs> you know, to, to talk about this stuff. So mm-hmm. thank you very much, Carlina. Thank 